Hello guys, Gamer Muscle here, of course, and we're checking out the newly added to R Factor 2 Bathurst Racetrack. We're going on a little bit of an off-road excursion, testing the uh, the tyres, making sure the dirt build-up's there, and of course it is. And uh, we're racing against the AI. Now, this track supports 32 vehicles, and uh, as you can see, it supports them well. And R Factor 2, a really nice thing with the simulator is that it can actually... You can just whack as many vehicles as you want on the screen, and it still runs pretty well regardless of how many people are racing against but we've set the AI to 100% on the grass again and 100% uh, difficulty and 50% aggression because we thought you know with it being Australia it's warm it's dangerous it's humid uh, you know the, the, the competitor is going to be a little bit agitated a bit angry so 50% aggression 100% difficulty seemed uh, about right settings though we did find in our testing of this track, this situation seems to occur quite often on the first lap where you get a bit of a rush hour of traffic jam and the AI can sometimes get stuck. Uh, doesn't happen every time. We tried this with the Matt Court car, the Mazda, um, a Formula One car, the Indy car, which was bonkers on this track. But it seemed to be sort of one in three times cars would get stuck on that corner in the first or second lap, but then it would, uh, after a lap or so, it spreads out. But, uh, aside from that, everything seems to run pretty smooth. Um, as you see, we're getting to the top of the top of the hill now, uh, coming to the Super G downhill ski track. Uh, I mean, it's just an absolutely crazy track. I think Australians, basically, in, if you live in Australia, you open your front door and you're dead. And that's, uh, that's Australia. So they wanted to build a racetrack that in incorporated that aspect of the down under living. Uh, and, well, this is it. So we're just going to do a full... Drift around there. We could have got quite a few drift points for that. Um, the model is really nicely done. And what's interesting with this track as well is that it's a third-party associate track where ISI basically license high, the high-quality mod content and then uh, launch it and include it within the game. And you can just download it through their game installer, which makes it easy to access. And also, it promotes artists that do really good track work such as this as we, we're just going to go for a little bit off-road excursion here we didn't really have the uh, I don't know if the track wasn't grippy our tires weren't warm or I just wasn't paying attention oh, oh of course I was just testing the off-road capabilities of this this vehicle um, but uh, I have to say for a track that's been added to the game for free again more free content you can't complain the only uh, as you say you can't complain followed up by complaints so the only complaints I would have of this uh, and it's not to do with the uh, well, it's partly to do with, the, with the, the track model. It's the AI issue at the start, which I don't know. You, I don't know how that would be avoidable. Maybe just put the AI on easy or just don't put a quarter of a million cars on track. The only other thing, it did seem that some of the bumps at the mid top section of the track before you get to the Super G downhill ski slope, um, some of the bumps I think are a little bit sharp. And I'm not sure if it's r 2 physics or the track model is just a bit too sharp or certain vehicles struggle with it. Um, the cars have a tendency to start bouncing along and flipping out and the AI especially because they won't approach it as a human uh, sort of accounting for these bumps. You see this bit's all nice and smooth. It's just coming up over here. I'm sure in real life it's ridiculously bumpy as well. Over here there's some, there's some bumps round here that, there you go, look, the AI almost like then goes into the wall. So if you've got damage on the AI just start destroying themselves and some cars just start flipping over. Other than that, um, no big problems that I saw in my uh, sort of two hours of uh, poodling around this track with uh, with AI. So, we go back down the ski slope, watch out for kangaroos, it's all clear, safe. Uh, it's such a satisfying track though to actually do a good lap on and it's such a tricky track with these downhill sections and the fact that it's, it's basically Monaco in the countryside on, on a ski slope with scorpions there's literally scorpions inside your car so you have to watch out that you don't get stung whilst you're driving just adds to the excitement though uh, you have to download this separate obviously the way r factor 2 works you just grab the content from the uh, isi installer and uh, you get it in there and i would uh, you know if you've got r factor 2 get on this right away and give it a bit of a blast put some ai on try it with some of the old cars try it with some of the new cars this Megan Trophy uh, is a really good car to uh, get in with if, you, if you're new because the Megan Trophy, it's, it's a nice vehicle in that it still handles like a car uh, in that, you know, it slides around a little bit. Um, 
and, and it's wide, it's got bodywork, but it also has a ridiculous amount of downforce. So you, you can be a bit late on your braking and get away with it, uh, you know, without just skidding off the track. You'd have ruined your lap time. But it's just a nice, forgiving vehicle um, and tends to, uh, tends to take this track quite nicely. If you try this with the V8, which is obviously what the, uh, this track's famed for, for people racing around with, uh, you, you're going to need to put in a good bit of practice uh, before you're doing clean laps. But let's see what happens here. So we catch up with these AI. They're a little bit slow behind each other. Powering up the hill. Look at that. Turbo on. Also, you might notice next to my uh, the, the face camera, you notice there's a little icon showing the steering wheel and pedal input. Now, that app is called um, Wheeler, W-H-E-E-L-E-R, and uh, it's a fantastic pedal um, steering clutch and uh, gear indicator, especially if you're doing streams, you can see really precisely what's going on with my feet and the uh, and the steering wheel. So check that app out as well if you're ever doing or going to do recording. But there you go. See the AI's lost it because of the bumps. Small problem. Maybe that can be fixed by just putting some more polygons in the mesh or, or reducing the the slope. I don't know. I don't know. But check out Wheeler, download that, and uh, well, I think that's enough. Three laps of this track. I'm sure you probably all died of old age now. So thanks for watching this video, thanks to Maniac, whose name I probably said wrong, but this is the guy that actually built this track and the ISI license from. Fantastic job, and thanks to ISI for putting this out for free. If you enjoyed this content, click the subscribe button because it keeps you up to date. Also remember that Sim Racing News is now on Tuesdays, very serious Sim Racing News show, and there's also a like button and the ability to comment. That's three ands. Goodbye, see you in the next video.